Chef Lalonde, owner of the Canteen Bar and Grill in North Platte. Join us now for fabulous, unique, original recipes created by the chef. Hi, welcome to Cooking with Chef Lalonde. Today we're going to do something real light for spring. Coming up, we're going to do a real fresh salad. It's a very classic Greek salad. And I'm going to show you how to make a real classic vinaigrette that goes on to a Greek salad. And we're going to do grilled and chilled salmon. We've got our grilled and chilled salmon, obviously. The ingredients for our salad, we've got uh, feta cheese, some diced and seeded cucumbers. We've got black olives. You're welcome to use Kalamata olives. You can find these in the store. That's why I like to use them in this. Uh, we've got some cherry tomatoes. These are the grape tomatoes cut in half. We've got some red onion. And then the dressing is garlic, oregano, a little basil. It's all dried. Just a touch of sugar, salt and pepper, a little lemon juice, olive oil, and uh, red wine vinegar. All right, first of all, we're just going to go ahead and add all our ingredients. Um, we're going to make the vinaigrette as we go. In fact, I want to dump a little bit of the juice out of these olives. I don't want all that juice in there. There's an extra one. It's a real pretty salad, too. Very nice for summertime, great for a luncheon. And, of course, our feta cheese. All right, now we're just going to go ahead and kind of build our dressing. We want fresh garlic. A little bit in there. We've got just a touch of sugar. We've got a lot of oregano. Probably three times the amount of oregano to basil. You just want a little bit of basil in there. A little salt. Now, ten turns of pepper. Maybe a little bit more. I'm going to do some red wine vinegar. And see how quick this is going to be. And vinegar to oil, it's about three or four to one. So you want about three times more oil, or about four times more oil than we're going to do vinegar. And that looks pretty good. And now the last part is going to be a fresh lemon. I don't want the seeds in there, so we're going to go right through there. And I'll give it a little bit more acidity too, and just a really Really nice flavor. And that really is about it for our salad. We're gonna to toss this up and then we're gonna dress everything and it's gonna be beautiful. All right, now you just wanna really lightly kind of just gently toss this. You don't wanna mix everything so it's just kind of crumbled up, especially that feta cheese. And then you wanna let this set. You can lose the night before and it's gonna get even better flavor for the next day. Now we've got some beautiful artisan lettuce here. We're just gonna make a nice little base and this is a nice little red romaine. Looks great. Serve this kind of fun style. There we go. All right, now we're gonna do some Greek salad. We go right in the center with the Greek salad. Really has beautiful color, smells wonderful. That looks pretty good. Kind of the olives kind of drown out in that a little bit because you can't see them as well. And we're going to take our salmon. This is about a seven ounce piece of salmon. That's about all you need. And we're going to go ahead and pop this on the top. Now we did this salad a week or so ago and we used a little quick like tzatziki type sauce on top of it, which worked out really nice. But for this I want to be a little bit lighter. We're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to go ahead and garnish with a lemon. And uh, there's your beautiful Greek salad with uh, grilled and chilled salmon. All right, we're going to serve this a little Chateau Saint Michel uh, Riesling. It's a little light for this salad because the uh, the salmon has a little bit of oil in it, but I think it'll go really nicely. It smells fantastic. Next week, we're going to do another salad for springtime. We've got mango chicken salad, a little lime vinaigrette. You're going to love it. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you then. For Chef Lalon recipes, go to knopnews2.com or send a self-addressed stamped envelope. Please join us again next Wednesday.